Right. This time machine seems to be ready. Okay, so all I need to do now is to pinpoint the man himself. And this little fella will bring him to this point in time. Right. Here we goes. It worked. It worked. It worked. You brilliant little bugger! It worked. <laughs> and who are you, sir? <laughs> so you. You. You are. Winston Churchill. Indeed, I am. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, um, okay. Quick question: What year do you think this is? I beg your pardon. What year is it? Go on, tell me. What year is it? Go on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Well, I say it's it's nineteen forty. <laughs> yes, yes, it worked. It worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Well, may I ask who you are, and exactly what is going on? Ah, uh, yes, yes, um, yes, I should tell you. Okay, my name is, uh, my name is Josh, and I have built a time machine, you see, which brought you into the 21st century. Oh, really? That's so. So, you're telling me you built a machine that... Transported me into the 21st century. Yes, 2022 to be exact. I, I, I can prove it to you. I mean, I got some stuff over here. I can prove no, you. no, I see the proof right in front of me. Just by seeing all this. A few minutes ago, I was at number 10 preparing my speech. And now, I'm here. I mean, things are slightly similar. Well, you see, nothing's really changed since the 40s. Well, except for our clothes. And our cars. And our technology, and our food, and the world's IQ levels have gone down. But other than that, it, it, it's, it's pretty much the same. Is that so? Yes, so first things first, uh, we should get down to business of why you're here. Can you, to begin with, Sign an autograph. An autograph? Sign an autograph. You know, right here. Wait, wait, let me let me get this straight. Are you trying to tell me that you brought me 72 years into the future to sign an autograph? Uh, what? No, 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 that's not why you're here. I mean, that's just a... That's just me being silly. Um... The, the, the reason why you're here is because I would like you to be our new Prime Minister. What? Why? Wait, is there another world war? Is it those blasted Germans again? What? No, no, there isn't a World War Three. Well, at the minute there is a war happening, but, but, but that's, not, that's not the main reason why you're here. Well, what is the excuse, if I may ask? Well, you see, our current Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, well, the UK doesn't really like him. He's technically lied to Parliament, he has lied to the UK, and also, he's broken a law which he put in place. My word! Well, what law did he break? He had a couple of parties with his friends and family. There's a law about having parties in gardens? Wow, the 21st century is even more confusing than I thought. Well, during lockdown, yes. I mean, it's it, it, it's a long story. Okay, basically there was this this virus, you see, and and which basically got us into a whole pandemic. So the whole of the the world got into um to lockdown. The UK went into lockdown. We all ha had to obey social distancing rules and not have parties and everything. And Boris Johnson basically broken those rules, even though he was the fella who put those laws in place. How disturbing. Yeah, I know. I mean, Boris did say that he didn't know that he broke the law, but he was the one who created the law. 
Well, it appears that your Prime Minister sounds like a real plonker. Well, that's because he is, Mr Churchill. He is. I mean, it's, it's really annoying for us as well because because we obeyed these uh, these rules and everything and uh, and we, we couldn't see our friends and family because of these rules and and, 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 it, and if we broke the law, we had to um, pay a £10,000 fine at the very least. No, at the very maximum, sorry, I mean, I'm thinking the other way around. And, and, and thousands of people were dying every day while he was having a party. And, and that's not even the worst of it. Even the Labour leaders even had a party during lockdown. But Boris Johnson isn't going to give up his position without a fight. And with the election coming up soon, I thought that you would be great to be our uh, Prime Minister. I mean, I mean, you would help us make Britain great again. I mean, you would be the first Prime Minister to be elected three times. Uh, you mean twice? No, three. One, two, three. No, two times, I believe. What do you mean, three? Oh, right, spoilers. So, you want me to lead this country again? Well, why not? You're the perfect man for the job. I mean, your reputation precedes you. I mean, you can help us with the uh, with the cost of living crisis. You can help us with no, the no, other... Hold on, sir. Let me stop you there. Uh, as much as I am grateful for the opportunity, I cannot accept your offer. What? Why? Well, you see, I, I'm not entirely sure what I will be doing in the future well. What I have done in the past, in your perspective, but uh, I cannot take responsibility for a country that I am not familiar of. It is, it is as simple as that. But, 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 but this country needs you. Ah, precisely, my dear boy. It, this country needs me in my own time. The UK needs me to lead them through the war. It doesn't need me to give a MP a smack on the bottom. No, no, no. <clears throat> I'd leave the smacking to democracy. You, you, you honestly believe that? I believe every word I have ever said in my entire life. Which is already long. And has not been entirely uneventful. But as long as you have faith in your cause and, and unconquerable willpower, salvation will not be denied you. That is quite good. You should write that down. Yes. So, if you don't mind, I think I will return to my own time. Fine. I'll just return you back to your own timeline. Ah, right. Uh, just one thing, my dear boy. Did we win the war? Do you see me speaking German? <sighs> right. Let's see if Chamberlain is available. This time machine seems to be ready. Really? Is that so? So... Really? <laughs> yes, 2022 to be... I can't speak. Yes, 2022 for beats. Um, well, you see, nothing's really changed except a little thick. Ah. <laughs> um, well, the UK doesn't really like that. Ugh. Well, Boris Johnson isn't going to give up his position without... He needs me in my own time. Lower, 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 lower. I'll sing it as low as it wants me to go, okay? So... You want me to rule... No, not rule, it's lead. 
It needs me in my own time. The UK doesn't need me to... Oh, wait, shoot. I've got the wrong way around. But as long as you have faith in your cause and, and unconquerable willpower, salvation will not be denied you. And the store is in the way. I am going to slowly go away.